May I have your attention, please? Ladies and gentlemen, the 40th President of the United States. Tom Matthews, UPI. Uh, Mr. President, earlier this year you said that you would travel anywhere in the world to further the cause of peace. Uh, considering the worsening situation in the Mideast, are you planning a trip there in the near future? We have no definite plans as of yet to go to the Mideast, but we do plan maybe perhaps in a couple of years if the settlement and the agreements have not been reached by that time. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Paul Onaki from Honolulu News. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, the Senate has voted to proceed with development of the neutron bomb. Don't you feel this will impede further progress in the salt talk with the Russians? Quite contrary to that fact, the matter of uh, nuclear existence deals with atoms and atomic weapons, not with neutron weapons. The neutron bomb is a hold cost weapon. It is not in the cellular realm of reality. We're trying to hold it in place, and it's a neo-pacifist uh, neo weapon. Mr. President. Mr. Richards, AP. Yes, Mr. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to ask you a question, which I'm sure the American people would like to know. Do you feel that within the fiscal year, the unemployment rate will drop below the 5% level? Well, as you know, the 5% level pertains mostly to, if I may say, white America. In the black American and minority situations is up to as high as 45 percent. <laughs> and we plan to, with all our efforts, try to lower that rate to about 20 percent in the black areas, and of course it will be lower in the white areas, of course. We're trying to do this and merge a, a United States. <laughs> Mr. President, Mr. President. Yes. Uh, Arthur Williams, Chicago Sun Herald. You've just okayed a $250 million increase in our space program. What I'd like to know, is the main reason you did this so we can finally recruit black people for the space program? I feel it's time that black people went to space. Uh, <laughs> white people have been going to space for years. Uh, and spacing out on us, as you might say. <laughs> and I feel with the, the projects that we have in mind, we're going to send explorer ships through other galaxies, and no longer will they have the same type of music, Beethoven, Brahms, and Tchaikovsky. From now on, we have little Miles Davis and Charlie Parker. We're gonna have some different kind of things in there. That's right. Yes, yes ma'am. Roberta Davies, Jet Magazine. <laughs> Mr. President, on your list of candidates for director of the FBI, are you including the name of Huey Newton? Yes, I figure that Huey Newton is best qualified. He knows the ins and outs of the FBI. If anybody knows the ins and outs, and he would be an excellent director. Yo, blood. <laughs> yeah, Brother Bell from Evident Magazine. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Assalamu alaikum. All right. <laughs> What you looking at, Snow White? Uh, brother, about blacks and the labor force. I want to know what you're going to do about having more black brothers as quarterbacks in the National Football Hunker League. Okay. Huh? Right on. I plan not only to have lots of black quarterbacks, but we're going to have black coaches and black owners of teams. As long as it's going to be football, going to be some black in it somewhere. Right on. Right. 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 Yeah, right. I'm tired of this mess that's been going down. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Ever since the Rams got rid of James Harris, I've been my job in the top, you know what I'm talking about? So we're gonna get down on the case now. Yes, what, what is it? Mr. President. Yeah, what? <laughs> Mr. Bigby, Mississippi Herald. Sit down. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Mrs. Fenton Carlton Macker, Christian Women's News. Mr. President, since you've become president, you've been seen and photographed on the arms of black women. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Quite 
frankly, sir, you've been courting an awful lot of white women. Will this continue? As long as I can keep it up. I mean, why do you think they call it the White House? Yeah. Now, your predecessor, you know, President Carter, now his mother was a nurse before What was he... your question about, sir? <laughs> my question, I'm leading up to my question. The question is about your mother, if you want to be... Oh, hey, you... oh! It's okay. Please, let's take it easy. The man has a right to ask the question. Please. Please. Let's have some decorum here. Now, what is the question about my dear mom? Okay. What, what now, your mother question? was a maid in Atlanta. Yeah. Now, after your tenure, if your mother goes back to being a maid, right? Will your mama do my house? <laughs> <laughs>